How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. Happy beautiful October morning. There's a chill in the air and I'm feeling really good this morning. I hope you guys are too. I think today we'll do a little chilling out at the house. I have a potato leek soup that I would like to put together for dinner tonight. And maybe we'll make a tempeh Reuben for lunch. So we'll do some cooking today. When it gets colder, I always feel like cooking more. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys my little witchy cottage. Um, for those of you who follow me on Facebook know that I made a little clay cottage out of an, a bottle. Um, and I did not film it. It is not a tutorial. I just took a couple days to just art away. And I can't believe I'm not showing you all these trees right now. I'll have to give you a scenery shot later. So that came out really cute. And I also did those um, batty magnets refrigerator magnets which again is a little kind of a kiddish project I hesitated on whether or not I should put it up and I'm really glad I did because I got a lot of positive response from it and I'm actually going to be mailing those out to the grandchildren today in addition to the batty mobiles I made uh, grandpa Tom and I went to the Dollar General last night and got a bunch of like trick-or-treat stuff for the kitties so there's going to be a package from the great pumpkin coming uh, down to North Carolina for those guys and I actually skyped with my youngest daughter and my grandkids this morning um, which is always a great way to start the day everybody's doing really good and even though I still miss them every second I am so happy that you know all the changes took place so everyone's doing well and I don't know what else I have to tell you. I'm sure there's other stuff, but we are nearing the nest right now. And I have scattered out some bird seed, um, but I'm still kind of hesitating because I know there's still bears out there roaming around. So I don't want to put out too many treats, but I'm going to pull in here and we'll get started on our day. I do have some stuff to show you. A couple things from Amazon, nothing big. I did get a beautiful Happy Mail package uh, Tom picked up yesterday from the post office from my friend Christina. So I'll open that for you guys too. And I also got a letter yesterday. So I have some stuff to show you. And when I get inside, we'll do that. So I'll see you in there. And here's our beautiful day. This is the view from the deck, which I need to get my butt out there and clean up. And you can see I've put some seed down. I saw Fred yesterday, so maybe he'll be back. And yeah, I've been procrastinating cleaning out there. I need to put stuff away for the winter. And let's see. There's my maple tree and my oak tree. All the leaves are brown. So I'm having some coffee I just heated up last night, which is a little bitter, honestly, but I'm going to finish it up before I make a fresh pot. And, oh, what? wait, what is this? Hello. Hello, little polymer clay witch's cottage. You guys, have I told you how much I love this thing? And look, look. Uh, brewing peace and love. I had so much fun making this, you guys, and I probably will do a tutorial. I was very inspired by a lot of things I've seen on Pinterest, you know, fairy cottages and things like that. Why is my focus not focusing? Focus. Hocus pocus focus. Uh, yeah, but, and the best part, I think... I used a real ribbon on the headband. The best part is... What? What? Oh, yes. Okay. I used a little glass jar about three inches high and spent about two days 
creating this. So this was my first time. I think the hat came out great. Um, there would be some changes. You know, I'm super critical of my work. I think we all are, but I'm loving this for my first time. I've done altered bottles before, but I've never done like a little cottage. And I was excited to share that with you guys. And I honestly felt kind of guilty that I didn't do a tutorial, but I need to stop that because sometimes you just need to art for your heart, right? But I put it right here next to my plants, and she's very happy there. So I think I will do a little mini video of just showing it. Um, when I first started making YouTube videos, I didn't do any tutorials. I basically just showed my artwork. So I may do that, and I may be inspired to create another one, but what am I doing? Oh, you guys haven't had the tour in the dark today yet. Here we go. It's another view. Turned on the computer. Tom is going to come over and transfer all my, when I finish uploading today, he's got a little mini, you guys, I'm so ignorant with this stuff, a little hard drive that I can put my info on, and that's my tripod, so I can do my editing over at the cave tonight, because honestly, last week, it took me till like 11 o'clock at night to get everything uploaded and onto YouTube just using the new editor, which is coming along, um, but you guys have been very patient with my um, figuring things out, and why am I so blurry, you guys? The sound issues I've been trying to reconcile also. Um, first it was, and it's always me. It's not, you know, it's easy to blame the computer or something, but it's not, it's, it's me. Um, trying to figure out settings on the computer and then I decided to use a microphone last time which I thought was fine and then was really distorted so rather than not upload the video I just upload it and want you to know that I'm aware that it's kind of subpar quality so uh, yeah I am kind of <laughs> procrastinating right now Let's have some coffee, and I am going to get the soup going. It's like 10.30-ish right now, so we'll I'll pull out the crock pot, and we'll make some potato leek soup, and like I said, I have some stuff to show you, and I think there's one more thing coming in from Amazon today, so uh, we shall see. So I'll see you in a little bit.
decided to not use the crock pot. It'll come together really quick and easy in the days of getting away from me. So I want to do that. And I have all these batty magnets on my refrigerator right now. Thanks for the love on this video too. And these are going in the mail today down to the grandkids. So maybe if we, I'll take you guys with me over to the cave and I'll show you what we're going to send out, but I'm not sure if they're going to watch this video, so I don't know, but they work really good. I have them. I made a lot. I made one for each grandkid, so five, and then this kind of gothy one, which maybe I'll stick in my, uh, in a giveaway bag. I've already got a bag in the closet that I'm saving for my next giveaway. It's hard to see in this light. But it's cool. I like the technique. You know I like things dark. And then, of course, we have our witchy poo here amidst all the love. Have I told you guys how much I love you? Yeah. Love it. We're filling up here. This is a magnet that my oldest daughter, Rachel, who uh, will be 34... Soon, or 33 this year, sorry Ray, uh, made for me when she was like five and the buttons are falling off and but it's still hanging in there. Uh, yeah, distracted squirrel, witch, witch on a broom, had to do this one too. So I'm not too crazy about the silver that I put on her, but again, I can be really critical of my work. Um, I think we all are, and I need to probably let that go a little bit, but had fun making those, and like I said, I'll be sending those off, so let's get started on some soup, or I could just continue to show you rainbows and love. I did rearrange a little bit, not too much. I try to squeeze you guys in. Um, daily affirmations. I am what I am. Yeah, I've had these up here for a while. And I shared these in a video at one point, but keep these out here to look at and feel good about and try to practice the law of attraction. And it works. What you put out, you get. So, I am thankful and blessed and grateful and love you guys so very, very much. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know if I expressed that enough to you guys, but I really like our Wednesdays when we're just hanging out and chilling. I really feel like I'm getting to know you guys and welcome new subbies and hugs to my old subbies. And, oh, yeah, what are we burning today? Frankincense. Oh, and you know what? That's another thing. I just got another essential oil diffuser in the mail from Laguna Moon, the one who just sent me the sandalwood and chamomile oil. So I will be doing a video on that review uh, probably tomorrow, right? Yeah, my favorite. I always, everything gets rearranged here. Um, I get sick of looking at things in the same spot, so. But people have asked me about certain things, so I thought I'd give you a little mini tour today. Yeah. Nice big chunk of citrine. Next to some hot red peppers and some bat ribbon, right? That's an eclectic grouping. Um, Caradwen in the back. One of my first drawings. I've thought about putting that on a postcard. What do you think? I don't know. Lots of Zen tangles. I got into Zen tangling for a little bit. I'm still touring with you guys. She stays up in the kitchen. Every kitchen needs a kitchen witch. And shout out to one of my very favorite kitchen witches, Miss Rachel Patterson, Tansy. Um, love you, sister. And she's doing amazing. She's an incredible author. Uh, amidst many other things, and I originally met her when I attended Sacred Mists online uh, Wiccan College. 
so or College of Witchcraft and Magic or something. It's not Wiccan. Um, anyway, shout out to Tansy. And look, I pulled out some potatoes because I want to get these before they start to sprout. But that's what you need when you're making potato soup. You guys, this is like the world's easiest soup, okay? I have some potatoes and I have some leeks, which have been in my refrigerator for about two weeks now. These get some rainbow infusion, rainbow soup. So we need to use these. So I'm going to chop up the leeks and, you know, we'll save these bottoms here. Put them in some water. Chop up the leeks, chop up the potatoes. And I can, if you can believe it, you guys, I've gone through all that vegetable broth already, the broth we made. So I like to use this when I don't have any broth on hand. This is better than bouillon, organic, vegan, vegetable base. And it makes really good veggie broth. So in a pinch, this is a really good substitute. And so potatoes, leeks, about six cups of veggie broth. We will saute our, I don't have any good oil. I have to go oil shopping. Um, I do have coconut oil in the bathroom, but I'm using that to take my makeup off this week. So I need to get some more for cooking, but we're going to saute our leeks in a little bit of olive oil. And then we are going to add our chopped potatoes and about, like I said, six cups or so of veggie broth and salt and pepper and we will cook that down and then after it's cooked a while i'll puree it so it'll just look like mush but it will taste amazing we'll season it with some salt and pepper and that's that so let me peel and chop um sometimes i leave the skins on sometimes i leave the skins take the skins off today i am going to be peeling the skins so let me do that prep and i'll be back Okay, and don't forget to save your scraps either for the soup pot or a compost pile. And I always keep a bowl of ice cold water when I'm doing potatoes because if you don't get to them right away, the starches will turn it black. So if you throw them in cold water, that won't happen. So I'm just going to do big chunks, nothing spectacular here. And we're going to have about approximately four cups of potatoes. So let me finish up what we got, and then we'll chop up the leeks. And guys, make sure you do a really thorough job when you wash your leeks because they get a lot of sand inside the leaves and things. So just be really careful. Even though we're only going to be using like this much in between my fingers. Um, and these I'll again put in my frozen scraps for the stock pot and we'll put these in some water just for fun. We'll just take off this end and about here. Yeah, it's still alive. I actually feel bad for it. I have that much empathy. Okay. All right. And then you could just cut across if you want, but yeah, actually that's what I'll do. So I'm going to chop them all up like this and I'm going to start heating up my Dutch oven 
and we'll get going. Okay, here they are. Beautiful. And look, the scrap bag is full again. So time to make some more veggie broth. That didn't take long, but that'll be for another day. And I put a little water in this little dish so we can sprout these and make more leeks for future generations of soup. Okay, I'll meet you over at the stove. Okay, guys, this is my Dutch oven. My mother got this for me for Christmas one year. It's a lodge. Um, they're a little bit pricey, but so worth it. And you guys know I use my cast iron skillets all the time. And I love this as well. And I actually have these listed in my Amazon store. So I'll put a link to that below too. If you guys don't already know the health benefits of cooking with cast iron, you should read up on it. Um, it's wonderful and you absorb a little bit of iron every time you cook and eat. So, all right, we're going to put some oil in the bottom of our pan here. I don't know, a tablespoon or two. If you don't use oil in your cooking, don't use oil. You could use some water, but... And then we're just going to add our leeks. And we're going to cook these for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I have my heat on low, but I'm going to saute them, and I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt, I like to season each step of the way, and some crushed black pepper. And believe it or not, I don't have any fresh garlic right now. Uh, if I did, you could add some of that as well. I can never have enough garlic, but I'm going to let this just cook down, like I said, for about 10 minutes. And I'll see you guys back here when that's all nice and soft. And then we'll add our potatoes. Okay, guys, you know it smells amazing in here, right? These are softening up nicely, and I've drained the potatoes, and there's probably, I don't know, about five cups maybe, five cups-ish, and let's just add those, and we're going to let that cook for about ten minutes too, and then we're going to add our water, and I told you I'm going to use some of the vegetable bouillon base, but you don't have to. Um, if you want to keep it really nice and white looking, you can just use water or you could use some water and like almond milk, um, a combination, but I'm going to use the veggie bouillon. So there you have it. Doesn't this look yummy already? Yeah. So same thing, about 10 minutes. I turn the heat up a little bit. It's a little like under medium-ish. So we'll let that go and come back and quick and easy. Okay. Yum. I can eat it just like this. Let it cook another 20 minutes or, you know, just not even another 10 minutes so your potatoes are soft. Yes. Anyway, uh, so now it's time to add our water. I have about six cups of water here. And I am going to add the bouillon. I've already measured it out, about two tablespoons. Um, this is all organic and all natural and vegan, but it does contain a bit of sodium. Uh, quite a bit of sodium, actually. That's, that's next year's goals, are reducing fat and sodium. But right now, uh, I'm just not going to add any more extra. But I'll show you what this stuff looks like. You know, 
So it's good in a pinch. If I had my broth all made, that's what we would be using. But, you know, it is all natural. Um, vegetables and vegetable juice concentrate, carrots, celery, onion, tomato, salt, soy sauce, soybeans, cane sugar, maltodextrin, yeast extract, potato starch, onion powder, garlic powder, organic certified organic okay so no MSG or anything and that's gonna give us a nice brown broth so I am going to cook this on you know medium heat I guess I'll cover it and cook it on medium heat for at least a half an hour but probably let it go an hour I'm gonna you know I'll be stirring it and checking on it and then when it's ready you can eat it as is or you could puree it which is what we're gonna do so let me cover this up and I'm gonna uh, get set up and we'll open up some happy mail and I'll show you just a couple things okay so we'll let this sit Okay, I've turned the soup off. It's been like 45 minutes. I'm just going to let it sit there, and then we'll puree it when we're done here. But just, <laughs> I wanted to show you this. I was moving things around, and my little artist model became an amputee this weekend. Um, and I had to laugh because being an amputee myself, although mine is the leg, my father was a right arm amputee, and I'm going to keep this just because it rocks and I had to share that with you guys because you rock so there's that and I also got from Amazon very randomly and this is something that came from uh, China so I told you I forget about ordering these things sometimes but these are little um, bead crimp covers so when you finish a strand of beads and you put a little crimp bead on you can cover them with these and I promise 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 you that I will be doing a beaded curtain video I it's I haven't forgotten and I'm gonna I'm tired of talking about it actually so I just need to do it but I'll use these when I do that and Grandpa Tom and I went to Dollar General last night uh, I told you we picked up some goodies for the grandkids the great pumpkin um, and I'll show you that stuff when I go over there this is gonna be another long vlog obviously um, but while I was there, I decided to pick up this, um, I haven't tried their candles and you know, I like to make my own and everything like that, but this was $5 and it smells incredible and I'm not big on vanilla. I like the smell of vanilla, but I don't like it when it's overpowering, but this is a really nice blend of uh, vanilla and sandalwood scent so I'm gonna try that out and I really like the jar too doesn't this look like a future witch's cottage um, and also while I was there can't have enough of these so googly eyes and I couldn't resist I got a new bandana it's been a while since I've gotten one it was only a buck they're 100% cotton and I love it. I usually, I told you when I was in high school, I used to wear them like this. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. See how long it's been? Anyway, we would wrap them up and I would do one of, oh my goddess. Oh my goddess. Do one of these right or peace and love but now I just wear it as a kerchief any bandana fans out there hello time to clean the house okay so there's that and it's three minutes you'll never get back uh, shout out to Linda who sent me a letter and I got this last night Linda and I read it and have fun on your vacation and with your kitchen cabinets and all that stuff and thank you so much and hugs to you and to you and to you and to you and without further ado 
here is a package that I knew was coming. My friend uh, Christina, who is Boneyard Twitch here on YouTube, and I will link her below, sent me some happy mail, and I'm going to open it here. And all I've done is slit the box. So look at this. Oh boy, I'm getting. I'm you guys. You know how much I love you, right? And how spoiled I am. Now this. Oh. Uh, can you say Nag Champa? Nag Champa. Oh, what a great way to start. Okay. I love you guys so much. And she has a squirrel named Loki. So, and I have not seen Fred today. But, and she really has a squirrel. Like, she has a pet squirrel. No joke. I'm a little jealous. I'm living vicariously through your squirrel. Oh. Okay. Birthday. Oh. 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 One of the white bags is from Loki. She provided all the herbs are from her garden. Oh. Oh. She. Oh. She made to. Uh, the one one of the things was made to honor her her mother and mine too and she lost her oh i love you see i'm come tearing up already yeah, i love you guys thank you so much for being here wow it's so hard when you lose your mom it's so hard when you lose anyone you know even though i know like we don't really lose anyone like i don't really i we all go on and on it's so hard though to to lose them physically, you know? So, I feel you, sister, and I love you. And, oh my goddess. Hello. Love, love, love. All right, I'm going to put this on the floor so I don't put that on the floor. And we have a layer of bubble wrap here. Look, I can't. I can't not show you guys. All right, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I don't care. I don't care. Look. Oh. Oh, look, see, I'm glad because you guys need to see what a, what a job. I really, really envy people who have packing skills. Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, I am going to cry. I feel it. I feel it. Oh, my God. Is Well, first of all, amazing smudge wand. Oh. Uh, I see rosemary. Do I? Yeah. Oh. See. Oh, man. Oh, guys. This is incredible. Incredible. See, I'm not going to want to burn it, though. Lavender. Yeah. Lavender, rosemary, and sage. Is that what I'm seeing here? Look at the lavender flowers, you guys. Gorgeous. Uh, and I love rosemary. It reminds me of my grandmother. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, going in, going in. Let's do this. Uh, you know, I love you guys. When I become a millionaire, I am going to shower you I mean, right now I'm showering all of you with peace and love and blessings and all the best, good, everything, but I just wish I could reciprocate as much love as I feel from you. I hope you feel it from me. I hope you got... <gasps> oh, <laughs> amethyst. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, and that's funny because before I showed you my little mountain over there, Ah, uh, definitely one of my all-time favorite crystals ever. Love, love, love amethyst, and I know you guys do too. And look what a beautiful specimen. Wow. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. You know what? True story, morning glory. When I showed the incense burning before, it was my last stick of Nag Champa. So is this both Nag Champa or is this Super Hit maybe? 
Now this is Nag Champa too. Thank you. I can never, ever, ever have enough. I burn it constantly. I thank you so much. I needed it. Ah, oh, it's just one thing after another. Palo Santo wood. Gorgeous. Love, love, love. Ah, oh, you guys. One of my favorite smells of all time. Even just without burning it. Gorgeous. You, oh, oh, what a great idea. Oh my goddess. She took acorns and made, put runes on them. Oh, I'm going to have to, I'm not up on my runes uh, off the top of my head. <gasps> These are gorgeous. What a great idea. Look, look, look. If you guys know, shout out the runes or write them below. I will be pulling out my little rune dictionary. And you know what else is funny? Not so funny. Yesterday, I was in my bedroom going through my bookcase and looking at my old almanacs. And I was flipping through my rune, my little rune encyclopedia. And I haven't looked at that in over, probably since I did my bookshelf tour. So apparently I knew I needed to pull it out. Love. These are gorgeous and I love these acorns. What's on my finger? I love these acorns. I'm familiar with all the rune symbols, but I don't know the names off the top of my head. So, um, love these. I've made my own runes. I made a set of runes out of cinnamon dough, like cinnamon applesauce dough. And I also did uh, painted stones. You know, that's a good idea. I should do so many ideas. Thank you. I love them. They're going right on the altar. Ooh, and this keeps calling my name. Look at this, you guys. Speaking of going on the altar. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, my goddess. Oh, I'm getting like, I'm ch I have chills. This is insane. Oh, thank you so much. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh, I can't even speak. You guys. Oh, well, the cheap dollar store plastic skull that's on the altar is being replaced. This is like um, ceramic. I love this. Love this. <sighs> Ooh, I got chills. I'm, thank you so much. Oh my, every day is just such, you guys are incredible. I'm, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. Uh, oh my. First of all, hello. Little tiny scrolls in a fairy tale bottle. I love this. And then she knows how much I love my charms. Look at this. Keys and gears. Ah. Uh, and then black salt. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, sister. I okay. What is peeking up here? What is this peeking up? Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, oh, oh. oh, there's lavender. Look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh. It's a plush, plush purple pumpkin. Oh my goddess. I Christina, 
you sister i thank you thank you i love this you guys how perfect is this it's squishy and this is like it's hard did you did you make this how did you make the stem how did this come to be <gasps> it turns into a magical purple coach at midnight ah uh, i love this i love this adorable i'm blown away i am blown away at your generosity and blessings i i can't even that was i'm going in for more i'm shaking i'm oh oh wow what they're oh you could tell it's magical <gasps> it's weighty oh you guys this looks like the hummingbird feeder i have oh christina what did you do oh 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 Oh, you guys, it's magical. Oh. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. I can't even... I'm going to be quiet. I am just... Look at that. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I... Thank you so, so much. I love this. Oh, and it just, it feels wonderful. It's got weight to it. And it's just, I can feel the, mm, I can feel the love. Wow. Okay. This says, Samhain Blend. And Samhain is another name for Halloween, when the veil between the worlds is thin and we can speak to our loved ones who've passed on and it's a third harvest festival and oh, celebrating the crone and happy new year. Oh, look at this, look at this. Mm. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. It's super spicy, like uh, clove and cinnamon. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, I love it. Oh, you guys, it's really, really good. Yum. I look forward to burning some of this, sister, in honor. Oh, my. Wow. So fun. We are not done. This is like never-ending box here. Hello, beautiful purple candle. Oh. Oh. Oh, how fun. Ah, uh, you know, it's funny. I don't have a lot of washi tape. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, washi tape is, you know, decorative tape used in like scrapbooking and journaling and things like that. How fun. Ah, uh, love them. Very cool. Sister, you rock. I think that's it, and that is, like, so amazing. Oh, my God. I can't even believe it. Wow. I, I'm going to read your card again, too, because I just briefly skimmed through it. But, Christina, you're amazing, and thank you so much. I, I, I don't even, I'm still, I have to process all of this. So I'm sending you so much love and let me get my act together here for a moment and absorb all this and let's puree some soup, okay? Um, wow, 
I love you guys so much. Mm, thank you. And I just read your card again, Christina, and I wanted to send extra love to your grandma right now and to you. I know how hard it is to be a caretaker, especially for a loved one. So extra blessings your way for that. And thank you, Loki, for the acorns. And the incense blend that you created was to honor your mom and my mom. So thank you, and I will uh, use that accordingly. So extra love again. Thanks so much. Okay, guys, I pulled out the blender, and this is definitely done. And obviously, the longer you cook it, the more the potatoes break down. And yum, yum, yum. But this is definitely done. And I'm just going to take it by, you know, use a ladle and ladle it into this pitcher, uh, blender and puree it. And then I have another pot here that I'm going to pour it into after, and just do it in batches till it's done. So I'll try to set up the tripod so you can see that. Alrighty, let's see. All right, that's enough of that. And make sure that you leave the vent, uh, give the steam some room to escape. Otherwise, it'll you'll have an overflow. So just be careful and hold your ears. Okay, guys, I let that go for like, I don't know, 45 seconds or something, but do it to however much you want, and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to do the rest of the whole pot, and then I'll come back for a taste test, and I'm going to call Tom and see if he wants a Reuben, and I have no idea how long this vlog is, so I'll see you when I see you. And here you have it. So I transferred everything back into this pot when I was done blending. And I have to admit, I took a sneak peek taste test. Freaking amazing. Okay? So I'm not going to do a bite because I'm going to wait to eat with Tom. But trust and believe this is incredible. So I hope you give it a try. All right? Let me know how it turns out for you. And like I said, I'm going to call him, see if he wants a Reuben. I'm going to see how long this vlog is, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to film all that, but we shall see. I'm not saying goodbye yet. And this, this smells great, so I'm happy with that. And, of course, just got a knock at the door. And, oh my goodness, what a surprise. Something from Amazon. A big old box for one item. And I thought that I already had this. But every year, and I think I know I've shared with you guys, I buy a uh, Llewellyn Witch's Date Book. It's like a it's a planner, and it's turned into a you know a diary for me in a way. Um, and I have them going back to the year 2007. So every year I get one of these, and then I also get a copy of their Magical Almanac. Well, I was looking through my books the other day, and I realized I didn't. I had never bought the 2017 Almanac. So before it becomes 2018, uh, you've probably all seen this for a year already, but I highly recommend these. I have, uh, again, 10 years worth now, and I will be buying the 2018 soon too. So um, they are just chock full of lore and stories and knowledge and calendars and yeah I highly recommend them so that's that right I'm gonna call Tom okay guys Tom should be here in about 20 minutes so I put the soup on the back burner and I'm heating up my frying pan here in the back I have what's left of my sauerkraut which is not a lot but we'll make two sandwiches out of it and 
Oh, we're making a grilled Reuben, by the way. And I've done these before on the vlog, but I've never done them with tempeh. And somebody asked to show this, so this is the tempeh that I'm using. And this is from Light Life. I got this at ShopRite. And tempeh is fermented soybeans. And it is a meat substitute, and it's very tasty. And I know it looks gross right now, um, but it absorbs, you know, what you cook it with. And we are going to, I'm going to slice this in half. It's actually pretty thin as it is now, but I am going to slice it, um, you know, horizontally and grill it with just a little bit of earth balance in the bottom of my skillet. And then I'm going to take some of this amazing Dave's Killer Bread. And if you don't know the backstory behind Dave's Killer Bread, check it out. Look it up online. Um, and this stuff tastes amazing, you guys. I love it. It's my new favorite bread, and I will be buying it from now on. Highly recommend it. But we're going to take some of that, and just like making a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, look at this stuff, you guys. It's incredible. It's great as is. It's great as toast. It grills up incredibly. So we'll put some... We're going to grill our tempeh first, okay? And then take out the tempeh, make like a grilled cheese sandwich. I'll butter the sides of this, put it face down. We'll put some... Um, I'm using this chow vegan cheese. Love this stuff. As well as I just made a homemade like Thousand Island dressing using uh, vegan mayo, which is delicious, and some relish and ketchup. I just it's different every time, but I would say a couple, you know, a couple tablespoons, two tablespoons of mayo, a tablespoon of ketchup, and some relish, something like that. And we will assemble our sandwich. And it's really, really good, guys. I'm plugged into the wall here because there was no charge left on my camera. So uh, let me get... I'm not going to show you step by step. I have no idea how long the vlog is. But I'm just going to slice this. You'll see it in the pan. Okay? I was able to slice these pretty thin. So... All right. And I just put a little earth balance in the skillet. So. And this cooks up in just a few minutes. Maybe like, I don't know. They're so thin, you know. Uh, three or four minutes each side. And I am going to, I have this big light shining. That's where all the shadow's coming from. It's not the sun. Uh, I'm going to give it a shot of some... Uh, tamari, which is soy sauce, gluten-free soy sauce, all right? So let's see how skilled I am at this. One. Hello. Um, just a little bit. This guy didn't get any. Oop. Okay. So when I flip them, I'll mix them. And... I'm going to butter some bread while we're doing that, and the sauerkraut's heating up, too, so you can see. Okay, I'm going to flip these, and don't try this at home. Use the proper tool, not your fingers. Yummy! Doesn't that look good, you guys? And it tastes good, too. It's the perfect texture. Trust me, I wouldn't lead you wrong. All right, so that's almost done. Our sauerkraut's ready. I've buttered our bread. And on the other side of the bread, I'm going to, before I put it in the skillet, I'm going to put Thousand Island dressing on this side. But I'm not going to do it yet because it'll be too messy. But I'm just telling you ahead of time, okay? So these are going to go another, I don't know, three minutes or so. And I'll take them out, and then we'll put the bread in with the dressing on, and we'll start to assemble. It's really quick and easy and freaking delicious. And if you guys like Rubens like I do, this is a great one. 
And by the way, I know that heating your sauerkraut kills the probiotics in it, but it was freezing cold and, you know, I took the chance, but you should just eat it raw. Okay, I spread these with the salad dressing and these are on wax paper, so there's the butter side. Um, these are, I'm going to call them done. So we're going to take these out. Again, I don't, I'm just, I don't know why I'm using my fingers. Children, don't do this. Don't do it. Okay, so next, I'm just going to take one of these, butter side down, in the pan we go. All right, I'm going to do two. Then, I'm going to take some of this amazing cheese. Can't believe I'm doing this all one handed. Oh, the talent. And I put it down. One slice. Do it however you want. And then on top of that, I'm going to add some of this sauerkraut that now has no health benefits. <laughs> Um, I realized as I was doing it, I don't normally heat it. Okay, we're going to put a little bit here. Or you could do whatever layer you want. And I like a lot of sauerkraut, and if I had more, I'd be using more, but I don't. Time to go shopping. But I just want to show you guys. Okay. Pretend there's more. Visualize the sauerkraut. All right. And then I'm going to I'll do three of these. Tom doesn't like a chunky sandwich, and neither do I. So I want to be able to take a nice bite. And then I'm going to reverse it with, well, except for the sauerkraut, but more cheese. Another piece of cheese. I'll put it this way this time. And this one. And here's our bread. I'm going to flip it. And I am going to get a spatula and use the spatula. And here we have this one. Okay, so you want to cook these just like a grilled cheese until they're, you know, golden on the bottom. And then flip it. And I'm not going to be able to do that one-handed. And I don't want to set up the tripod, you guys. I'm tired now. I want to eat. And there's a lot of editing to do. So I'll show you when they're flipped and... I just flip these and give them a few more minutes. Let that cheese melt up. And Tom should be here soon. So, yeah. Yum. Okay, my lovelies. I'm going to use this opportunity to say see you next week. I'll see you very soon. I'm going to enjoy some dinner with my sweetie bear and I was going to show you what we're going to send down to North Carolina but on the off chance that the grandkids are watching I'm not going to do that but just trick-or-treat stuff okay um, I think you've seen enough of me today I love you guys again sending you so much peace so much love ear tugs for the grandkids means I love you and I love you guys. Like I said before, welcome new subbies. Hugs and love to all you guys so much. Check out all the links below. You know I always post a ton. Um, and I'll see you really soon, right? The first of the month is right around the corner. So there's stuff coming. I have ideas. I have ideas. But I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you soon, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.